Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Dear friends, in this video, we will solve problem 2.14. The statement of problem is that two aluminium rod A, B, C. This is the figure 12, uh, 2.14, and you can see that rod A, B, and that B, C. So, totally A, B, C rod. And having modulus of elasticity given 10.1 into 10 to the power 6 psi which consists of two portion a b and b c so there are two portion one is this portion a b and the one second is b c and this is to be replaced with a cylindrical steel rod this is aluminium rod and this is steel rod clear this is aluminium rod aluminium rod and this rod is to be replaced by a single uniform diameter rod DE having elasticity modulus of elasticity 29 into 10 to the power E PSI of same overall length. Determine the minimum required diameter D of rod if the vertical deformation is not exceed the deformation of aluminium rod under the same load and if allowable stress in the steel rod is not exceed to 24 PSI. So let's start with given data. So it is given that uh, rod AB and BC, AB and BC having same modulus of elasticity that is 10.1 into 10 to the power 6 psi. The length of this rod AB, so length AB will be equal to 12 inch, length of BC is equal to 18 inch, clear? And length of steel rod, total length of steel rod, that is equal to 30 inch. Diameter of this rod AB, which is equal to DAB, is equal to 1.5 inch. And diameter of rod BC is given as 18 inch. Uh, sorry, 2.25 inch. 2.25 inch. Also, the load is given on both is P is equal to 228 into 28 into 10 to the power 3 pounds clear. And the second thing is the, the modulus of elasticity of rod DE is equal to 29 into 10 to the power 6 PSI. Also, it is given that stress should not exceed in steel rod DE, which is DE, which is 24 KSI, 24 or 3 PSI. One condition that is given the vertical deformation not exceed the deformation in aluminium rod. So, sigma aluminium must be equal to sigma uh, sorry, not sigma. Total deformation in aluminium must not be uh, exceed than this in steel. So we have to find what we have to find. We have to find the diameter of steel rod that we have to find. So let's start with the solution. Now we know that there are two rods in A, B, C. One is A, B and other is B, C. So total deformation in, in, so total deformation in A, B, C is equal to deformation in A, B plus deformation in B, C, which is equal to P, L, A, B over area of A, B into E. Similarly, that is also P into LBC over area of BC into E. Now you can see that there is two things common that is P and E. So we will take it out. So we will have this L of AB over area of AB plus L of BC over area of BC. So if you put the value, you can see that P is 28 into 10 to the power 3 and E is 
ten point one into ten to the power six. So now length of AB is twelve was twelve inch, and a diameter that is five by four, one point five square. Similarly, length of BC is uh, eighteen, and diameter five by area five by four, two point two five square. So from there, from this, you will get the total deformation in rod A B C. So that total deformation is equal to zero point zero three one three seven six inch. Now, again, this uh, as it is given that total deformation in Aluminium is must be equal to then in steel, so that will be also equal to zero point zero three one three seven six inch. Now we have strain, and we know that strain has P L over E formula. From that you can also calculate A and V. Again, from stress we have. we can calculate a so we will calculate the area by using both the scenario the strain scenario and the stress scenario so let's start with strain scenario from strain we know that strain is equal to p and p was uh, from this strain we can calculate a that is equal to p l over strain uh, not strain sorry it is change in length i'm sometime confused about that so um, This will be area will be equal to P is twenty eight into ten to the power three total length of steel. This is for steel now for steel rod. So this for steel rod is a uh, the length total length was thirty and the E for E for steel is twenty nine into ten to the power nine and change in length of steel. This is. Zero point zero three one three seven six. So again, area of steel. That area comes out to be zero point nine two three square inch. So this was area by using the. Uh, Elongation criteria now from stress criteria area is equal to um, P over stress. So area of steel will be equal to P over stress. Clear? So we have uh, P that is twenty eight into ten to the power three. We have stress for the steel that not exceed twenty four into ten to the power six. So twenty four into ten to the power uh, three. Sorry, not six. That will give you the area that is one point one six six square inch. Now you have two uh, value of areas. One is by using stress criteria, and one is let the strain by using the elongation criteria. You have calculated uh, area of steel rod that is one. In area of steel rod by using stress criteria, that's true. So choose the largest, choose largest area from one, one and two. So largest area of steel rod must be one point one six six square inch. Now using this area, this is equal to pi by four d s square is equal to one point one six six. So d s square is equal to four times one point one six six over pi. So d s is equal to under the root four multiplied by one point one six six over pi is three point one four one seven. So Diameter of steel rod comes out to be one point two one nine inch. So this was the answer of 
above question 2.14 i hope you have enjoyed the video uh, again if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you very much